Vaiguji Ka Khalsa, Vaiguji Ki Fateh. This is Amr Singh with the Sikh Coalition. 2008 was a year filled with achievement, victory, and ultimately hope for the Sikh community. In the spring, we witnessed a young Sikh, Angud Singh, who went to take the medical college admissions test, or MCAT, and was told he had to remove his dastar if he wanted to take the exam. Partnering with the North American Sikh Medical and Dental Association, the coalition fought the discriminatory policy and won. Now, not only turbans, but all religious headwear is accepted in the exam room. Discrimination wasn't limited to the classroom. In the workplace, Tharlochan Singh, a Sikh who applied to be an officer with the California Department of Corrections, was told he had to shave his beard if he wanted a job. After an intense legal battle, which included a trial, an administrative court ruled in his favor. The court's ruling sends a strong message to all California state agencies that Sikhs and other religious minorities must have their rights respected. In another legal victory for the Sikh community, 2008 saw a breakthrough settlement in the matter of Sukhvir Kaur and other South Asian workers. Sukhvir Kaur had suffered harassment on the job, including being told to remove her dastar and being forced to clean bathrooms when she didn't. Ultimately, Sukhvir was fired. After three years of litigation with the coalition playing a central role, Sukhvir and eight of her co-workers received a settlement over one quarter million dollars. The victory is another key milestone in the effort to ensure employers respect sick rights in the workplace. It was with no small measure of joy and excitement that in September the coalition officially opened its new western region office in Fremont, California. Over 120 people from the media, government, and the Sikh community joined the coalition staff and board on the occasion. Our new Western Region office is an integral part of the coalition's strategic plan to provide coast-to-coast -coast coverage and establish a national platform for mobilizing the Sikh community. By far our most exciting campaign of the year involved New York City's own Department of Education. In April, the coalition released a New York City six civil rights agenda based on a survey we completed over 1,006 in New York City. The findings were horrific. They included the fact that more than 60% of the six students we surveyed suffered bias-based harassment or even violence in city schools. Within a month of the report's release, Jigmon Singh Premi's Budka was removed and he was badly beaten by a fellow student in a city school. Only days later, the hair of a young Sikh female, Gurpreet Kaur, was cut by another student. The coalition identified the incidents as bias-based and began mobilizing the community to take action. On June 30th, approximately 300 Sikhs marched to the site of the most recent school attack. Protesters demanded a new policy that protects all children from bias-based harassment. By the end of September, Mayor Michael Bloomberg released a new regulation that establishes a procedure for filing, investigating, and ultimately resolving complaints of student-to-student bias-based harassment. The new regulation will aid in preventing bias-based harassment amongst 1.1 million students in New York City. It is by far the Sikh community's biggest contribution to the welfare of all. Our year cannot be complete without work on the U.S. presidential campaign. In a first for the Sikh community, U.S. presidential candidates answered questions specifically on Sikh voter concerns. Candidates answered the Sikh coalition's questions on issues like hate crimes, profiling, and employment discrimination. President-elect Barack Obama was one of the candidates who answered the Sikh coalition's questions. Going forward, we'd like to use the candidates' answers to our questions to ensure they stay true to the promises they make to the Sikh community on the campaign trail. With God's grace, 2008 was a year filled with progress towards our vision of a world where Sikhs may freely live the life Guru Saab envisioned for us. We created a new law for New York City schools on bias-based harassment. We won two major lawsuits, one against the California Department of Corrections and the other against National Wholesale Liquidators. We opened a new office on the West Coast, and for the first time, U.S. presidential candidates are now responding specifically to Sikh voter concerns. With your support and again with God's grace, we look forward to continue to build a world where the Sikh way of life is celebrated and respected. Wai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guruji Ki Fateh.